Hello guys, welcome back to my channel Math School. In this channel, I'll be teaching Karnataka Board Class 10th SLC Insert Math. In today's video, I'll be covering the topic Fundamental Theorem of Arithmetic from the chapter number 8, Real Numbers. In my previous video, we have already completed Euclid's Division Algorithm. So in today's video, we will be studying about Fundamental Theorem of Arithmetic. Now, before coming to the topic fundamental theorem of arithmetic, let us know what a prime number and a composite number is. I'm sure you have already studied in your previous year that about uh, composite and prime numbers. Let us just refresh. Prime number is a number which has factors 1 and itself. Any number which has factors 1 and itself is considered as a prime number. For example, if you take number 2, it is divisible by 1 and it is divisible by itself. Any number which is divisible by 1 and itself is termed as prime number. Okay, If you consider the natural numbers which we have already learned, so these are all the natural numbers starting from 1 going up to infinity. If you take this first number 1, it is neither prime nor a composite number because it does not have any factors. So okay, so 1 is neither prime nor composite. If you take number 2, again it is a prime number because it has factors 1 and itself. So if we consider number 3, Again, 3 has a factor 1 and it is divisible by itself, so it is a prime number. 4, again it has factor 1, it is divisible by 2, it is divisible by 4. Since it is divisible by more than 2 numbers, it is a non-prime number. Then again, if you go to 5, it is divisible by 1 and itself, it is again a prime number. Then if you take number 6, it is divisible by 1, it is divisible by 2, it is divisible by 3 and also by itself. Again, it is a non-prime number. If you go to number 7, it is divisible by 1 and itself, it is a prime number. Then 8 is again divisible by 1, 2, 4 and 8. So these are all the factors of 8. So it is again a prime number, I'm sorry, a non-prime number. If you go to number 9, it is divisible by 1, 3 and itself. So it is again a non-prime number. So if you again, if you consider 10, it is divisible by 1, 2, 5 and itself. Again, it is a non-prime number. Any number which is not prime or which has factors more than 2, it is termed as a composite number. Okay, composite number, it is a number which has more than two factors other than one and itself. Like for example, we saw here uh, number four is a composite number, six is a composite number, eight is composite, nine is composite and ten is also a composite number. So here in all the prime numbers which we saw, two is a prime number, three is a prime number, seven is a prime number, five is a prime number. So in all these prime number, 2 is a smallest prime number. These are prime numbers 2, 3, 5, 7, then 11 is also a prime, 13, then uh, 17 is a prime number. So it goes on. Then composite numbers are composite numbers are 4, no, sorry, 4, 6, 8, 9. 10, 12, 14, 15, 16, all these are composite numbers. Okay, I'm sure you must have understood what a prime and number is and what a composite number is. So coming to the theorem 8.2, which is fundamental theorem of arithmetic, it says every composite number can be expressed as a product of primes and this factorization is unique apart from the order in which the prime factors occur. To understand this, let us take an example, a composite number, let it be a 10. So we already know that 10 is a composite number because it has factors more than 2. It has factors such as 1, 2 and 4. 5 and itself so it is a composite number so let us divide this composite number with the least prime always we have to start with the least prime that is 2 2 is our least prime so divide 10 by 2 2 5s are 10 
then we get 5 ones are 5. So what are the factors of 10? 2 into 5. So we already we have taken the 10 as a composite number. Now 2 and 5 are primes, right? So according to the theorem, see every composite number can be expressed as the product of primes and this factorization is unique. It, that means the factors of 10 are unique that is 2 and 5 okay there are no other factors available for 10 so it is considered as unique factorization apart from the order in which the prime factors occur that is 10 can be written as 5 into 2 also okay the order can be changed but the factors occurring will be unique okay this is what the theorem says that every composite number can be expressed as the product of primes and this factorization is unique apart from the order in which they occurred. Okay, now let us take another example that is 32,760 and let us found, find the factors of this number. Let us divide by 2 since that is the least uh, prime available. So, 2 1s are 2. We will carry 1 to the next number. 2 6 are 12. 2 3s are 6. Again, a carry. 2 8s are 16. So, 0 come down, comes down. Again, we will divide by z, 2 because the last digit is 0. Any number with ends with 0 or an even number is divisible by 2. Okay, so 2 8s are 16. Again, 2 1s are 2. Carry 1. 2 9s are 18, 0 comes down. Then again, we'll take number 2, 2 4s are 8. Now we will take uh, the 19. So uh, we will write 0 here and we will consider these two numbers. So 2 9, 8, 2 9s are 18, again carry 1, 2 5s are 10. Now number is not ending with 0 or even number, it is ending with 5. So we will take 3, 3 1s are 3, carry 1, 3 3s are 9, again carry 1, 3 6s are 18, so again carry 1, 3 5s are 15, okay, now again let us divide by 3 and see whether it is possible, 3 4s are 12, so 1 carry, 3 5s are 15, again 1 carry, 3 5s are 15, so now uh, let us see whether it is divisible by 3, 3 1s are, 3 5s are, so 5 is here, it is not divisible by 3, so let us go to the next prime, that is 5, 5 9s are 45, 5 1s are 5, now again this is not divisible by number 5, we will go to the next prime, that is 7, 7 1s are 7, then 2 uh, is the carry, so 7 3s are 21. So 13 is again the prime number, so it is divisible by itself or 1. So this is the factorization of this number. Which, so we can express its factors in the product form. That's 2 into 2 into 2 into 3 into 3 into 5 into 7 and into 13 into 1. This can also expressed as 2 into 2 into 2 is 2 cube into 3 into 3 is 3 square into 5 into 7 into 13. Okay, so if we decide the order of the prime occurrence of prime to be ascending order that is from uh, the lowest to the highest prime, uh, we can also dis, uh, dis, uh, say that the product of any prime is unique here. Now, in my next video, I'll be solving the example from the chapter uh, 8 real numbers, that is example number 5. If you like my channel, please like, share and subscribe and don't forget to hit the bell button below.